Ah! How the heck did these guys get over here? Okay, fire this way. Blow him backwards. Do this. Have the front frame rate drop because that's what it wants to do right now. Where's the big guy? Not this time. Not today. Got a ton of damage from there. Stop running. From me. You two. You also get hit. How were you allowed to put a shield on? Okay, he's dead. Oof. I thought my reflect would work a little bit better than it did. Do that, and I immediately need to back up. Okay, we got him. 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 He's dead. He's super dead. He's dead. Loot him. N7 <gasps> Crusader 6. Grenade launcher. It's pretty good stuff there. Anyways, back to the action. Fire. That's right. Shoot him. I really confused. <laughs> T pose. Thankfully, it's not that bad. Pretty close though. That's the last of them. We did it, Ryder. Pathfinder, Axel's shuttle is leaving orbit. I'll remember this. We're not finished. You are today, and we'll be ready next time. Come to Padromos, Pathfinder. We owe you. Again. Is that all I needed to do in order to beat that? I probably should have done that a little bit better than getting absolutely wrecked. <laughs> Look, I, I know. I know I goofed. You don't, you don't have to rub it in my face. How many points do I have? I have eight points, and I have no idea what to put it into. What in combat could I do? I could combat tools. Combat tools is combat power damage, melee damage, damage resistance, hover duration, maybe jump melee damage, or combat detonator damage bonus, melee damage, hover duration. Uh, hover duration is pretty cool. Maybe I'll do that. What else am I using there that is useful? Um, I don't have anything in pistols. I have shotguns and sniper rifles. That is curious. I think maybe I should fill out the rest of the weapon stuff too. Because I'm going to use a pistol in an assault rifle. Pistol's more useful at the moment. So we'll put those in. So we'll get pistol damage, pistol accuracy, and movement pistol accuracy. By the way, that counts for SMGs too. Pistol weight, I will do that. Reload speed, clip size, probably reload speed. Pistol damage. Wait, are they both pistol damage? Well, it increases pistol damage and increases accuracy and stability by 20% when firing without using the aim function. So, and then this is while using the aim function. Interesting. Hmm, very interesting. Confirm. And I still have two points, but I'm not going to use them. Well, actually, you know what? I could. I could use them on combat tools. And, well, I mean, I guess that's one point. So I could use them on two individual things. I could do assault rifles and all that. But I'm just going to hold on to them like I have been. Still can't level him up because I need to finish this mission. So let's go back to Perdomos. I was, um... Anticlimactic. <laughs> I was expecting a little bit more of a combat there. And I ended up fighting five guys, like four. Oh, maybe more than that. So there was the two. There was the big guy, so that's three. There were the two on the building. So that's five. Six. There were seven dudes. I was still expecting a bit more. Especially after dying the way I did. Which. To see what your scientists learn of EOS. It's kind of BS the way I died because he could just do a melee thing and like insta kill me. It's pretty dumb. I, could, I don't think there was a way I could have gotten out of that. Maybe if I teleported, I don't know. Pathfinder, the Rokar attack is over. We'll know what to watch for in the future. It can't just be this old man and his hunches. Special thanks to our friend Jal. It helps to show we're not all on opposite sides. We can't assume anyone could be an enemy. That's no way to live. We're not planning on it. How's the team holding up? A little shell-shocked. 
Can't blame them. Maybe I should say something? If you like. Uh, I'm sorry that this happened. You've earned a day off. I'm proud of your abilities. You all deserve commendations. Well, I'm sorry this happened. I just want to say... I'm sorry. You're colonists. Explorers. We came here to live, not fight. This shouldn't have happened. And I'm sorry it got this far. I'm sorry. So, when do we get back to work? No apology asked or expected. We lose sometimes. But if they have the choice to keep going, they'll take it. This wasn't a good day. But it was another day. You gave them that. Your people, Ryder. Cool. Wait for Axul to make his next move. Ha ha ha. Does that mean if I go back to the ship... Um, I'm assuming fast travel is quicker than running over there. Uh, if I go back to the ship, go inside, and then try to level up Jaw, is that going to be a thing that happens? Maybe I have to talk to Jaw? I'll probably have to talk to Jaw. Ascent is go. And we'll see where we go from there. That... All clear. I don't think there was anything else on Eos. Was there? There was two somewhere. I don't think there was two on Eos. There might have been two on... I don't remember where the two were. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to look at my journal again. But, uh, let's see if I can level him up first. Where is Jaw? Jaw? Jaw. Auto level up? Huh? Did that work? He still has eight points. So what you're saying is it didn't auto level him. Because <laughs> it didn't load him yet. Email to I figured as much. Do I? Ah, message from Axul. He's just emailing me now. He's like, hey, Ryder, sorry about Eos. Uh, we'll try harder next time. Love and kisses, Axul. Oh, no, this is from Joel. I <laughs> see. Uh, Ryder, I've received a message from Axul forwarding to the meeting room. You should see this. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we will archive. <laughs> Play Axel's message in the meeting room. Maybe I should make a pistol. Do I have enough wow. research to unlock a pistol? I'm trying. Thank you. Axel, activate. Joel, I'm in the meeting room. Right behind you, Ryder. Pulling up the message. Creeper. Joel, I'm love. You always were a short-sighted fool. Helping an outsider. Instead of your own people, you're unfit to bear your family's name. I have to choose this one. Okay, this guy's really starting to piss me off. Oh, that wasn't he nearly as good as I thought it would be. That's your what? Someone pleased with his own shit. <laughs> <laughs> We've never gotten along. He's jealous of you. Well, that's a flirty option. I don't want to flirt with Jaw. No offense, Jaw. Love you, bro, but uh, you're bro. I'm still learning about Angara, but that sounded more personal than a childhood rivalry. He's too smart to attack me directly. Aksul wants us to do something reckless. Let's not give him the satisfaction. Okay. Wait for Aksul to make his next move. That's it. That's, that's all. Can I actually go talk to him? Jaw? 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 <laughs> He's probably in the bay. Let's go look. Jaw? Holy shit. You're shitting me. I am not. And you killed Ryder. And then resuscitated him. <laughs> oh, shit's real. I see this word shit. Oh, there he is. It's very multifaceted. I see. Ryder, what a victory. Now that we know where Meridian is, the Archon's downfall begins. A victory feels good, and there's more to come. You have a good team here, Ryder. Yeah, seems to be working out okay. If you'd like, I can provide cool training about embracing emotions. Oh. Okay, I'll think about that. 
Okay, let me know. Okay. I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? Uh, I was expecting a little bit different of answers, but we'll go with that. How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How do they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me, but I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? How do your eyeballs work? Okay, I get your point. Maybe I can find an Angara doctor to ask about your... whatever. Although, I used to know some facts, like the origins of our vestigial organs. Oh yeah, humans have a coccyx, a vestigial tail. And I have webbed toes, just a couple, but Sarah doesn't. And she had wisdom teeth, but I didn't. Now you. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> the Angara seem so open and free with their feelings. Are we? Hmm. We're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? Of course. Then everyone deals with it. That's the point. How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Just grill them. Since the Scourge, we've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is mostly oral history. We did have spaceflight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. Is there a central Angaran religion? There are many variations. An almanac could give you an accurate number. But if you are a believer, the essential tenet is after we die, we are reincarnated. We evolve to make our families strong, born from what was before, blessed to be better than before. Are you a believer? No. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't know if it's the same for humans. Sahuna, my true mother, is a firm believer. I see. You studied with Moshe Sefa. Is she a teacher or a religious figure? She's many things. She's a clear thinker with deep knowledge and insight. She teaches and inspires. She is beloved. I love her. Really? So one of those professor-student things. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, not that way. Moshe Sefer is 115 of your years old. How does he, how does he do well, the math like that? About that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, more about you. Can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Did you always want to be a fighter? Did you study anything particular in school? I... <laughs> no. I don't like to talk about it. But I'm not a fighter. Not really. The Ket occupation creates chaos. So our education is chaotic. <laughs> I'm not really anything. But that's an excuse. The truth is, I don't know what I want yet for my life at my age i hope being here will inspire me <laughs> interesting can you tell me about your family uh, assuming you have one sit down this will take time is someone bringing us snacks and drinks <laughs> whoa your family's that big i have one true mother sauna and more than five additional mothers and many 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 siblings <laughs> and cousins all raised together our families constantly change and evolve relationships come and they go my father is gone taken or killed by the cat we never found his body my dad died on our first mission here. I didn't know him as well as I could have, I guess. I think I was close to mine, yet maybe close has a different meaning for humans. Something to learn, I guess. Anything else you want to ask? Do Angara plan their futures? 
Do you dream about what you want to accomplish? <laughs> you put plan and dream in the same question. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You meant to do that. Angara thirst for now. We don't strive to make the future better. We strive because the present is lacking. Interesting. Well, enough about that. Different kind of philosophy. Can you tell me more about the cat occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. Mm. What's living under the cat been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One horrible day. Was he in the resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere every single day. Interesting. When the cat came, why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak? But the cat are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that. Believe me. <laughs> Poor Ryder. Have the cat always been here? No. Some, like the Morshai, are old enough to remember the time before the cat. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have seen him in person. And lived to tell? And lived to tell. Okay, back. Well, enough about that. We're almost done. Do you have a mate? A partner? I don't. Not for a long time. Not for a long time? <laughs> I fell in love with a girl once. Aaliyah. We were young. I was young. It was my first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older. A researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me and I was hers. Thrilled and seduced. But it didn't work out? My older brother came to Aya. He was already famous in the Resistance. Where's Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Haval, and... she joined our family. She became one of the mothers. You have to see her every day? No. They were taken by the kit. Their children survived. Ooh. Well, enough about that. Okay, let's see her. I'll see you later, John. Stay strong! And clear. So we got that done. Yeah, we had a lot to talk to him based on everything that um, we've just done. And honestly, none of that stuff was there to talk to him before last time I talked to him. So let's go see if I can <laughs> level him up. Uh, nope, not yet. Okay, so we need to wait for whatever the actual's next move is. I don't know when that's gonna happen, so we actually may go do PB stuff now.